If you want to make awesome creations like these in Astroneer, you are going to need a true flat. Today you are going to learn how to avoid some common mistakes about true flat and which tools really allow you to make it. It all started because I needed some help myself. What if I told you that your flat is not true flat? What? Wait, it's all fake flat? It always has been. No. Tactile object, teach me the way of true flat, please. Hello. Hey, Tactile. <laughs> You're welcome. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm really happy to be here. It's good to have you here. Thanks for coming over. <laughs> So I, I would like to go over a few frequently asked questions about true flat in Astroneer, so which is what you use for your incredible creations. Apparently it's one of those things that create a lot of confusion in Astroneer. So I was thinking maybe we could go over what is not true flat. So let's go over the flatten mode. On PC is control. On the console, you take out your train tool and you hit your bumpers. Uh, so that will take you over to flatten mode. Can you help us understand why that is not necessarily true flat? Yeah, the, the main difference is between flat and level. So just because something is smooth and flat doesn't mean that it's going to be something that you can stand on. I can come over here, make a little, make a little hump, and I can go to flatten mode and I can push that out and it will be perfectly flat, but it's okay. not level, I can't stand yeah. on it. Okay, so what if I try to do it on the ground? Is that gonna be true flat? No, true flat, you have to sort of imagine that every planet is a cube with a gate right at the very center of each side of the cube. When you make a true flat surface, you wanna be as close to those positions as possible because it will be flat as well as level something that you can stand on and walk around on. Okay, we'll talk about that more later on. The second thing that is not true flat is, I believe, this guy, right? Yeah, the alignment mod. It's one of the reasons that it might be a little bit confusing is because you could almost switch the names of these these devices, the alignment mod and the leveling block. The alignment mod, wherever you use it, will create a level patch of soil centered towards the center of the planet. Whereas the lev leveling block will always align itself to the voxel grid that's built around the planet. Okay, I'll pretend I understood that. Yeah. <laughs> that. That makes sense. Yeah, so if I turn on the alignment mod, I can walk sort of over here. And if I turn it on, it makes a level patch of soil. Okay. But if I go just over here and make another patch and move it over, those are two different angles. They don't line up with each other. Okay. And that's because wherever you start with your alignment mod is where it will be level. And then on a round planet, as you stretch that out, it starts to get a little bit slanted. So if you want to make a flat base with the alignment mod in a just random area, what you want to do is just make a starter spot. So you go around like this, and then you can turn off the alignment mod. You don't need that anymore. Oh. And you would spread out your base from the starter spot. Okay. And you just spread out the soil, and you get a nice flat surface. And every time that you go to flatten with your tool, you take your finger off the button, go back to your starter spot, and spread out from there again. So, so this is true flat? No, this is okay. level. Oh, level, okay. This is anywhere. If you want to do this at your starter base like we have right here, then the ideal spot is to go right under the center of your shelter and spread out from there. And then that will be a nice big level surface that you can put all your buildings on and platforms. But it's not true flat. And, okay. and the main difference that you will get with that is your creases in your corners are going to be really wrinkly unless you're on true flat. Uh, your alignment mod can do walls as well. So if you just yep. come up to a lump, turn on your alignment mod, it's going to start a wall that's at 90 degrees to your floor, but there's no way to get rid of the wrinkles where the, the wall meets the floor. Okay, so you were talking about this guy over here. Uh, the leveling block built on what's called the voxel grid of a planet. So it will align itself to the sort of invisible cube that surrounds the planet, no matter where you place it. 
and okay. you pop it. So basically, if we're halfway in between two gates, this block would come up at a 45 degree angle because that's the part of the cube that we're standing on. Okay. So uh, what if I want to have a perfect true flat? If you want to have a perfect true flat surface that's really easy to work with, then we need to head for a gate. And it doesn't matter which gate. So let's head for the South Pole. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice 360. <laughs> Can you do a backflip? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so now if we pop one of those... Leveling block? Yeah. <laughs> if we pop the leveling block... Oh, okay. I, I like that. But... <laughs> That's a lot easier to work with, for sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I wanted to see. <laughs> okay. Okay, this looks like Minecraft standard right. block. Every time you pop this block, you're basically getting a slab. You're getting something that's two by two and it's one thick. Okay, so basically if we pop the leveling block, and how do we stretch that out to get a nice uh, true flat surface? Well, any surface that you pull off a freshly popped block will be a true flat surface. Okay. All right, so like this would be the corner of your building. Then okay. you could absolutely do something like this in adventure mode really easily. And then take your train tool, that would be adventure mode size right there, and spread that out. And then a really easy way to get doors and windows in there is to just pop those out with the love point block first and flatten out the soil right up to where you framed out your doors and windows. You make it look easy. <laughs> <laughs> it really is easy. <laughs> <laughs> is there a way to get, you know, one by one block in place of... Oh, absolutely, two? yeah. Okay. If you pull up a one voxel width surface on one side and then pull it up on the other, it will give you a flat surface on top. If you're working with one by one, true flat always wants to snap into, into place. Oh. Just want to say that would take me two hours to make that. <laughs> <laughs> it just takes a little touch. Uh, is it, how do you call it, the zero by one? <laughs> what size is that? <laughs> a one pixel. <laughs> a one pixel. <laughs> That's really, it's a two dimensional, it's a two dimensional surface. It has width, it has height, but it has no depth to it whatsoever. So is it even possible to do this in adventure mode? Yeah. Or not no, that. absolutely. Okay. You would use the narrow mod, but it's just not quite small enough. So as you spread out this surface, like I did here, you would end up with some uh, bumps on the back end side. So you would have to come back there, trim those away, and then come out front and spread the surface again. And you should be able to get a nice big uh, one pixel surface with no bumps on the back. So let's say I want to do a 45 degrees angle. When you pop the block again, voxels always join together in the nearest area so you'll always end up with a 45 degree angle what if i want to get rid of those 45 degrees angles at the bottom there's no there's no way to join a true flat wall and a true flat floor without having that 45. Now one real advantage of a true flat surface or a true flat base is that you can sort of partially bury your platforms and change the whole look of your base oh. okay so if a platform is sitting on a true flat surface, you can come along and bury it and it won't buck out of the soil, it won't jump around and misbehave. They, my platforms, they always pop off. So. <laughs> <laughs> now I know why. Yeah. It will hide your power cables underneath as well. Oh. Apparently, if I understood well, there's no way to have a huge flat area that automatically follows the curve of the world, right? You could you could with the alignment mod, if you made more than one starter spot, like once you got to a little bit of a slant where you're at, you're at the point where you don't like it anymore, then you could get out the alignment mod and make a new starter spot and just sort of have those meet in the middle. So if you were, if you were away from the gates, not using true flat, then you could do it that way. Dicky feet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was trying to get an, a different yeah. angle. 
Oh no. The next time I can teach you how to mess up an organic area without any trace of true plan. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> well, I, I bet you can do that. Like you don't need someone to tell you. <laughs> I can't do it like you can, though. That's... <laughs> so thank you very much once again, Tactile. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel for crazy truth red builds and my channel for weekly asteroid content. This was Tactile Object and Kuya Game. Stay safe.